Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch an EC2 instance from your AWS console. Okay, I am in the AWS management console. Here, I'm going to search for EC2 service. Okay, and select EC2. So, this will take me to the uh, EC2 console. This is how EC2 console looks like. Okay, to launch your instances, uh, click on instances here. And here you will get the list of instances uh, that are there present in your account. Okay. If you don't have any instances, this will be empty. So this is the first time you are using EC2. Okay. Uh, click on launch instance. The first step is uh, to select an uh, Amazon machine image AMI. So Amazon machine image is basically, uh, you know, a configuration kind of thing, which defines what are the software configurations uh, that are present in the machine. Okay. So I am going to select this free tire only. Okay, so this is a very basic uh, Amazon Linux instance. I am going to select this instance. Before selecting an instance, make sure that it's in a free tire account if you are using free tire. Otherwise, it's going to cost you money. Okay. So here uh, I'm going to choose uh, micro instance type. Uh, all these uh, small, medium and large instances are going to cost me money. Since I'm using free tire account, I'm going to use uh, t2.micro. Okay, click on configure instance details. Okay, this is a, a VPC uh, settings. If you don't uh, choose any VPC, it's like it will choose a default VPC. Okay, and uh, this is IAM role. Okay, here you have to specify a role uh, for your EC2 instance. Uh, basically, I have created an EC2 role here. Uh, if you see in my, I am, I have created a role and assigned these permissions to my EC2 role. Okay, you can attach any permissions that you need for this EC2 role. Okay, just create, uh, you can name it anything that you want. Uh, just the service you need to select as EC2 and add the permissions that you need. Okay, uh, I'm going to select this EC2 role here and uh, leave all these things as default. I click on add storage. Okay, this is the uh, storage configuration for EC2. I'm just going to leave it at as the default configuration. So make sure to check this delete on termination. Okay, next is add tags. Okay, you can add tags if you want. Basically, tags help you to identify your uh, EC2 resources. Uh, not just EC2 resources, any resource in your AWS. If you add tags to the resource, uh, you can you know easily identify the resources. Uh, if you are uh, like example, if you are building multiple multiple applications in your uh, AWS account, uh, tagging resources is always a good idea. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Next, click on configure security group. Okay. So yeah, this uh, this is one of the rules that I have uh, in my account uh, already present. If you don't have any rules, you don't get this uh, option here. But this inbound this is basically an inbound rule which helps you to connect uh, to your ec2 from ssh clients okay uh, for now i am going to uh, ignore this but in the next video i am going to show you how to add an inbound rule to an ec2 instance uh, which will let you connect to the ec2 instance from your uh, 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 ssh clients okay for now, uh, let's click on review and launch okay Just review everything and yeah, click on launch. Okay, when you launch, you will get this uh, select an existing key pair to create, okay, or create a new key pair. So, this key pair is basically uh, to uh, log in from your SSH clients. So, make sure uh, to if you don't have any uh, existing key pairs, uh, create a new key pair, okay, and download that key pair. Since I already have that uh, a key pair created, I'm just going to select that, okay. But make sure uh, you choose this big up, okay? Okay, yeah, okay. And click on launch instances. Okay, so if you see my instance uh, is getting launched now. And click on view instances. Okay, so still it is in the pending state. Uh, let's wait till it uh, comes to the running state. Okay. Okay, if you see here, my instance is uh, now in running state. 
now you can use this uh, ec2 instance for i uh, you know many purposes uh, i'm going to make more tutorials on how to use ec2 instances for uh, your various applications okay uh, in the next video i'm going to show you how to add inbound and outbound rules uh, to ec2 instances which lets you uh, control your uh, inbound traffic and you now which lets you connect to your ec2 instance from your ssh cli clients like putty and winscp okay uh, that's it for this video uh, make sure to check out next video to uh, understand how to connect to your ec2 instance from ssh clients thanks guys